nuclear weapons are carrying the potential for profound devastation. But what are the exact effects of such a detonation? In this video, we're breaking down the most important direct effects of a nuclear explosion and we'll explain how significantly they can affect people. Let's take a look at the explosive effects of an 800 kiloton nuclear warhead on New York City. This yield is typical for a Russian warhead. The most destructive consequence of a nuclear explosion is the blast. This intense shockwave spreads outwards from the detonation point at supersonic speeds, obliterating structures and landscape. This is the area that would receive 5 pounds per square inch of overpressure with an 800 kiloton blast. Most residential buildings are likely to collapse and to kill the people inside. At 20 pounds per square inch of overpressure, even reinforced concrete buildings will be severely damaged. The severity and reach of the blast effect increases with the yield of the weapon. However, the growth of the area affected by the blast is not linear, making high-yield weapons ineffective. Because of this, it is more efficient to use many small warheads instead of a few big ones. A large portion of the energy is released through thermal radiation. This is an intense emission of heat and light, thousands of times brighter than the sun. It travels with the speed of light and reaches objects much sooner than the blast wave. Thermal radiation can cause severe burns to exposed skin, even miles away from the detonation point. Here, we see the area that would receive at least 10 calories of thermal energy per square centimeter. This energy is enough to cause third-degree burns and ignite buildings and flammable materials leading to fires. Third-degree burns will probably prove fatal unless prompt, specialized medical care is available. The area impacted by thermal radiation increases with weapon yield. Here is how the area would increase between the yields 100 kilotons, 1 megaton, and 10 megatons. For yields above 100 kilotons, the thermal radiation and resulting fires are the most dominant effect on civilian targets. The blast and thermal radiation can induce widespread fires. The area affected by fires is generally defined as the area receiving at least 10 calories of thermal radiation per square centimeter. However, the probability that a building will burn depends on the amount of the received thermal radiation. Multiple fires in large cities have the potential to merge and consume very large areas. Fires are estimated to be one of the most devastating effects of nuclear weapons in large urban areas. A nuclear detonation brings about enormous destruction that can decimate cities. The shockwave can cause buildings to collapse, shatter bodies, and send people flying. Civilians caught in the blast will suffer severe burns, fire will ignite miles from the detonation, and citywide firestorms can engulf an entire metropolis.